So, love and fear. <clears throat> love and fear. Where are you on that little collective energy on the planet at the moment? And I just muscle tested up three different flower essences. And it's interesting what tested up. So we'll see where they sit within this balance. So, so, so. Releasing the fear, increasing the love. Releasing the fear, increasing the love. So run that central meridian. Start breathing in love, breathing out fear. Breathing in love. Breathing out fear. Okay. Okay, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Get that energy moving in those cells of yours. Okay. I release any and all fear that stops me moving forward with love. I release any and all fear patterns that stop me moving forward with love. I release any and all fear in my soul stopping me from moving forwards with love, compassion and empathy. Okay, okay, amygdala. Right, so something about fear, shutting down the frontal cortex, messing with that uh, because of past sadness, despondency, depression. Making me want to run away. Okay, so running away. So that's fear, isn't it? So it's that fight, flight, freeze energy. <sighs> ah, the flower essence showing up as angel sword. Angel sword is for when you take on other people's crap. It's just believing in the bullshit and letting it come in. Good old shit shifter. Shift that energy, shift that energy, shift that energy. Angel sword or angel's word, depending on how you pronounce it. Nothing like an angel's word to get us back on track. Okay, frontal cortex. Okay, so now there's a little bit of range anger, frustration stopping us from thinking moving forward. So when our frontal cortex shuts down and that fear, threat, danger, that sadness, despondency, depression creeps in, we don't have the ability to think cognitively. We don't have the ability to think consciously. What's that rage, anger, frustration about? Okay. So another flower essence that tested up. Huh, okay, it's a fairly big chunk of dough. It's about 10 drops, that's massive. So it's called Red Helmet Orchid. Now, Red Helmet Orchid is about authority. It's about masculine energy. That doesn't have to be men. That's masculine energy. It's harsh, it's confronting, it's in our face, it's controlling. So men and women can have that masculine energy. And when that energy is there, how do we get through? How do we get by? How do we, how do we keep in that state of grace and love and peace and compassion and empathy with that real controlling, full-on energy? You must, you must, you must. So calming down that masculine energy, allowing the compassion, love, peace, empathy to come in. I'm going to do the uh, reticular activating system. Yeah, so that real red helmet orchid shuts down serotonin. So we need to activate that serotonin. Love, compassion, care. Serotonin, feel good. Serotonin, happiness, carefree. Loving, loving, loving. Increasing the love and compassion and care and peace in my life. Increasing that serotonin. Yeah. So the low serotonin is raising vigilance. Do you really feel controlled or do you feel like if you just say no, everything's okay? How much control do they really have? Letting go of, letting go of fear, increasing love. Letting go of fear, releasing compassion. Letting go of 
of fear, increasing peace. Letting go of fear, increasing grace. I am love, I am lovable, I am loving. I am love, I am lovable, I am loving. I choose to be loving. I choose to move forward through the world with grace, ease and compassion. I release the control. I release the anger. I release the fear. Okay, there's more anger, rage, frustration in there. an old trauma in there. Red helmet orchid. So this once again, it's still about that real controlling energy, that inability to allow authority uh, to control. So red helmet orchid is about body sovereignty. It's about owning your thoughts. It's about owning your beliefs. It's about choosing to think and to move forward with your own thoughts and beliefs and abilities. Because if we're constantly told how to think our entire lives, how would we ever learn to think? It takes time and energy and effort to learn how to think. Four drops. stress release points oh yeah pulsing nicely when it pulses on the left side that's the logic pulsing on the right side that's the gestalt so once it's pulsing you know it's up and running releasing any and all fear Increasing ray, increasing the love. Increasing, decreasing the fear, increasing the love. Releasing the fear, increasing the love. Okay. Okay, lack of motivation. So is that more to do with the excess of fear or the decrease in love? Okay. So when love is down, we don't feel motivated. So this is a hippocampal circuit. It's due to lack of motivation, due to internal negativity. So when we see our rights being taken away from us, it's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay sovereign. It's hard to stand up for what we know is right for us. It's easier to go with the flow. And sometimes that's the right choice. There's no wrong choices here as long as we feel good about it. And it's our choice. If we feel coerced into something, we're not going to feel good about it down the track. And in nearly 30 years of natural medicine, I've found that over and over and over and over again. the love, releasing the fear, increasing the love. I am love, I am loving, I am lovable. I choose to move through life with love. I choose to move through life with grace. I choose to move through life with peace. Okay, that's just what I needed. Okay, everyone, talk soon. Have a fabulous day. Bye.